Hey, it's Mitch, and today I'm going to unbox and assemble the Anyone Can Build Robots rover kit. As you might know, I do have some experience building robots, uh, but this one is quite a bit more affordable and easier to build. So let's unbox this and see what it includes. The parts are all well packaged and came with everything I would need to build this if I didn't have any tools. The chassis parts are laser cut aluminum. I know ACBR, they use Sin Cut Sin to laser cut their parts. It's the same service that we use for our BattleBot. This one came with a pre-soldered board, although I would have enjoyed soldering the components onto the board. Uh, it's really well assembled and it comes pre-tested. I got the PS3 controller as well, which is a fun way to get started remote controlling the rover. It comes with a flash drive including the software and documentation. Let's take a look. There are Arduino libraries included that are needed for the NeoPixels, Piezo Buzzer, and PS3 controller. It comes with Windows and Mac OS drivers needed to program the ESP32. All the example Arduino code is included and follows along with the code that goes along with the lessons in the ebook. The ebook is really well designed. It breaks down parts of the rover, the chips on the board, and example code. It's a great start for a beginner or intermediate roboticist. Unfortunately, at this time, the bit.ly links didn't work, but the assembly was pretty straightforward. I'll be showing you the assembly in this video. The first step is screwing the black plastic screws to the standoffs on the main chassis plate. Next, slot in the laser cut motor mounts to the body plate. Use the short M3 bolts and nuts. Insert the nuts into the T-slots on the laser cut motor mounts. They can be tricky to hold in place. Once we have the motor mounts tightened, we will mount the motors. Make sure the wires are sticking out towards the inside of the chassis. I use the triangles cut out in the bottom of the body plate as an indicator pointing to the front of the rover. Short wires should go in the front. I installed the motors with long M3 screws and nuts on the inside of the chassis. Now mount the motors on each corner. Mount the control board with the plastic screws on the plastic standoffs we screwed in earlier. The front of the board has terminal blocks and servo pins. Cut and strip the wires, then twist both left side motor wires together. Red to red, black to black. Do the same with the right side motor wires. Screw the wires into the terminal blocks. Clarity doesn't matter right now as there's no indication on the board the motor might run backwards. We will have to test once the board is programmed and then swap the polarity on each side. I made sure to check underneath to make sure that the LEDs weren't being blocked.
Now we can mount the tires. They are keyed so they should only go in one way when they're engaged. Use the long screws to screw the wheels into the motor. Carefully snap the antenna into the ESP32, then screw the antenna mount into the acrylic piece. Finally, I'm going to install the blue acrylic deck lid on top of the board with the remaining plastic screws. Now we can stick the breadboard on top. This robot kit was quick and easy to build. Great for anyone looking to get into robotics. All the files and schematics are available on their website. It's a great platform to modify and learn. In the next video, I'll be demoing the programming examples as well as trying to incorporate sensors. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful.